Hello, my name is Pam DeGoyer, and I'm one of CFA's long hair judges. Today, I'm gonna to bring you a presentation of the exotic breed. I have two cats to show you. The first one's gonna be this little 14-week-old uh, kitten, which is a tortoiseshell female. The breed is very, very exciting. I love the breed. Um, they have the same identical breed standard as the Persian, other than the length coat and pattern. So this little girl, she's 14 weeks old, and what we're looking for is a little short cobby body, the short little tail. She's wanting to play with the feather. Short little tail. Whoop, come back here. Short little legs, she sits low to the floor. We want that head to sit right on those shoulders. As a judge, we have to be very, very gentle as we tilt that head back. We don't want to tilt it too far. Nice roundness to the head, smooth. Everything in the front looking straight on should be a sweet open expression and everything should be rounded. As you can see, those nice round eyes. Let me see if I can get her to sit still enough for to show you the break and everything. Nice roundness. We have that break centered right there between those eyes. We have that little snub nose, deep break, nice underlining jaw structure, nice smoothness to the top. Nice breath between those ears. And that very, very sweet open expression. We want those ears to sit low to the side, tilting forward, rounded at the tips. Now this is our little kitten. Now I'm gonna pull out the nine month old boy to show you the difference in maturity here. Now the breed standard does call for this breed to be large to medium and he is on the large side. He's only nine months old, but he's like 11 pounds, but he is very well balanced. He's got that cobby body, level back. Look at the, te look at the difference on the coat. You can see as maturity from uh, 14 weeks to nine months. That coat, nice plush, dense coat. It's full of life, stands away from the body. He's a red spotted tabby. You can clearly see it's that medium plush dense coat. So when I run my fingers through, I can see the length of that coat. We don't want that coat to be too short or too long. Now, look at the, head, the difference from the head structure and the maturity. You can clearly see how much more thickness in that neck of his. Now see how he's not wanting to tilt his head back because there's not much of a neck there. So we have to be very, very gentle as judges not to over tip that head back. You can clearly see he's got that nice flat profile, roundness to the head. Look at the breath between those ears. His ears are set low, tilting forward, rounded at the tips. Now you can see that sweet open expression with those large rounded eyes. That deep break is set right there between those eyes. Snub nose, broad enough for him to breathe. That nice underlining jaw structure. And look at those big jowls already at nine months old. So this guy at the full maturity is around uh, two, two and a half years old. So this guy, he, I could imagine his head, how large it's gonna get by the time he's at that age. Copper eyes. Now this breed does come in several different colors. Uh, they even come in the pointed color with the blue eyes, uh, silver colors with green eyes. I mean, we just have all sorts of colors. We have the spotted tabbies, um, mackerel tabby, classic tabby. And this is, oh, another thing I wanted to bring up is the heavy boning. As they mature, look at that broad chest and those heavy boning in those legs. And this is our presentation of our exotic. There